But this one, you need to take a look in your formula pages that you have. Remember, you will have the formulas on your GD. But it's important because you need to understand that the fact that you have the formula, it doesn't mean you're going to use everything that's in the formula. You need to adapt what the formula gives you with what your question asks. So don't blindly look at the formula and use the whole thing. And that's a good example. If R is the radius of a restaurant, H is the height of the wall of the cylindrical portion, and S is the slant height of the conical ceiling, what is the combined area of the wall and ceiling? I am talking about surface area. The ceiling of your um, restaurant, yes. and you have a cylindrical part. So this is a composite. You don't have a formula for a shape like this. So you need to break it down into two formulas that you do have formulas, yes. right? We are exactly doing composite figures this week. So two formulas that you can recognize, there is a cone and you have a formula for a cone yes. and there is a cylinder which you also have a formula. So yes. there is no for one formula for this. You have to break it down into two questions. Another thing you need to watch out is even though there are numbers, your multiple choice is not asking you to solve and give the answer. So don't bother to start, you know. So let's see here. How do I combine all of this? Looking at my question, what's the formula for the surface area of a cone? Everybody looking in your papers. This is the surface area of a cone. Now, I am talking what is this? Pi R S is the surface area of this. And when I add this, is the surface area of the bottom of the cone. Do I need to know what's the area of the bottom of the cone for this picture? No. So when you get your formula, you need to exclude what's not necessary, okay? So this, it's not part, right? What, what is the area? You want to, do you want to know this? Let's suppose this is a cylinder, okay? So how do I know about the surface area of the cylinder? We, the surface area of a cylinder is a rectangle, right? So when you have this, you need to know what's the surface area of the rectangle. And this part here, which was around, this is the circumference of the circle, okay? And you have a formula for it. This is, this is, the, this is the circumference, right? Times the height, which is your little, my little dress, <laughs> okay? Then they're adding two, two circles, the top and the bottom. Do you need for this restaurant, do you need to know, no, right? You don't need the top and the bottom. I just want the surface area. I don't need this, I don't need this. You need to customize your formulas to your questions. Pi R S, which is this, plus this, which is 2 pi r height. Notice that I have pi r here and pi r here. If I have the same thing in both, we just did Maria Manuela with a lot of factorization, I need to factorize. Every time I have something in common, put it outside. So what is common between them? So I'm doing factorization. Forget we are not in geometry anymore. We are doing 
algebra factorization. Okay, what is common for both of them? Pi r in both of them. So this is gone, right? And whatever I have left, I put in parentheses. 2h, or it doesn't matter which one comes first. I have 2h left here, and s, or s plus 2h. And that's your answer. But the most interesting thing to learn here, first you need to know factorization, which is one of the lessons in uh, algebra. But important, it's don't blindly get. Yeah. This is the formula, I'm using it. No, you don't need the base of the cone, and you don't need the top and the bottom of the cylinder.